Hey everybody, welcome to our season four recap. Four seasons, that is just, it's hard to believe. So we've been over a year of Eco SY now. Uh, the feedback's been wonderful. This past season was great, 36 episodes, uh, and it just keeps getting better and better. Uh, we really appreciate the reviews, and, and they, they touch our heart. They, they mean so much. The reviews have been coming in and, and, and actually going up more and more. And I, I got two I wanted to read for everybody. Uh, one from Creative Girl 67 not sure who that is, but she wrote, tune in to this podcast if you're hungry for some truth bombs, big ideas, hero stories, and lessons that would help you grow your business in more ways than one. Chris and his team at Eco are down-to-earth rock stars at what they do in business and this podcast. They enjoy every single episode. So, Thank you so much, Creative Girl 67. And then there's a mom 8XS. She very simply she put, I have really enjoyed these podcasts and the great people and stories it features. And it's that type of feedback that fuels us, really. We're just trying to serve at the highest level. The guests are the heroes. And it's our honor at Eco SY to put them in the spotlight, celebrate them, because we truly believe at Eco SY, they are heroes that are impacting the world. You know, when you think about manufacturing and, and, and the, the businesses that we support, these are the people that are making it happen. So when we look back over the, the last season here, we had some wonderful ideas. We had Paul Van Mitri who was on talking about uh, manufacturing and that recipe of, of differentiation. We had a bunch of power, drive, and networking topics out there. And it just seems to be that's a, a, a area of interest that people like. So, you know, People that shared there were our, our, uh, Vic Perangelo, Chase Belke, who also was one of the, the very first episodes that we worked with, uh, and then Brandon Mendoza as well. And then several guests gave their insight to their specific industries. And I think back on like Claire Stevens, when she was talking about being an engineer there at the University uh, of North Carolina State University, rather, and the work that she was doing. And then Hussein, who gave us that really cool insight look at that pulp and paper. You know, talk about getting inside of a mill and then seeing it through through his eyes. And then, hey, we got a chance to really break down an amazing book from Wendy Covey talking about content marketing engineered. So just the, the ideas were amazing. And then we had the heroes. So the heroes were just so much fun to work with uh, in the last season. Had people like Chris Lukey. Our hero right there, he definitely was a, a lot of inspiration and so supportive as a fellow podcaster. Jay Flores, you had Renee Eddy, Miss Tessa Myers, who took time with us from Rockwell. Definitely one of the most downloaded podcasts that we had last season. Uh, we had Greg Paulson up there at Exometry. Mr. Chung Chi there at uh, Blueprint Automation. What a fun guy and, and shared his story. Jim Wirtz there in Virginia, another just a great, great hero who's just, I think his story about the steel mill and how that he got into that business and supporting them over that weekend uh, repair that he did, that, that was phenomenal. You know, then you had uh, people like Nurpal, who from out there in California just provided so much insight and, and wisdom. Mr. Bobby Cole, my personal hero now. I mean, I, I was with Bobby last week, actually able to, to, to build a friendship with Bobby from the podcast. And think of people like Lisa Scanlon, uh, Mr. Preston Hadley out there in Ohio, who is just doing a great job out at Envision. Ray Zaganto, the manufacturing unicorn, world famous guy. Tim Wilburn, can't say enough about Tim and what he's doing at TW Controls. And again, if you're not following TW Controls, shame on you. Go follow him. And then last, our last hero was Mr. Mike Cromachy, just with Steam Chain. Just can't express enough the heroes that we had. You know, and last season, we tried a few new things, as Eco asks why does. We had that roundtable discussion. If you all remember, go back and listen to that episode with Matthew Simmons, where we were talking about Ethernet IP and micro drives. Pretty niche topic, but... It was, a, it was a cool new format that we were trying there with our product manager. And then we had our first really round table where we had the wood industry discussion where we had um, Ray and Vadim, and they were talking about digital marketing and how it's impacting the, the, the world of, of wood and what they're trying to do differently. And that was just a really cool, if you think about it, Ray's in Virginia, Vadim is in, in the state of Washington, 
we pulled it all together across the country talking about the great uh, industry of wood. So that was just some fun stuff. And then, of course, we had some eco team members. I got a shout out to them. We had Daniel Vaughn, Jonathan Fuller, Mr. Mike Rathen, who shared several as well as his hero, and then Kay, our solution architect. So just a great list of, of guests that we had last month. What a blessing. So looking forward, season five, what's, what's coming up? Well, first of all, I just want to update people on a few things you're going to see different. You probably noticed recently there's a new cadence. We're dropping twice a week. We had increased it to three, but we said, you know what? We want to really focus on the guest, put that spotlight on them. So you're going to see every week one idea and one hero drop. Okay. And we're going to do our best to make sure that the listeners out there get the topics that, that are important and that also we give the guests that spotlight that they deserve. So you can be th thinking about some topics that are coming, they're, and then they're coming down the pike, and I'm excited for them to hit your podcast. Is CMMS, uh, MES systems. We're going to be talking about microgrids, uh, and then we even got a, a conversation with an author, and she talks about leading with grit and grace. And I'm just going to let that that hang. I'm not going to tell you who it is yet. You have to wait and, and and get it when it comes out. But when you see that leading with grit and grace conversation, you'll definitely want to jump on that. So what we're trying to hope to do more in the future. Well, we're trying to get more insight from people in industry. So if you listen and you're a regular Eco Ask Why uh, listener and, and, and you really find value, send us a message because you're the people that are making it happen. You're making this country grow, and you're the ones that we want to spotlight and put on Eco Ask Why. So please reach out to us. There's multiple different ways via LinkedIn, via our website, that you can do that. So I talk a lot about heroes and things that are going on in people's lives and families. On a personal note, uh, the Granger family here, we're expecting an addition in next season uh, to our family. So we're, we're expecting a little girl. We, we've named her Lily Grace. Uh, she's due in August, so that's right in the middle of our next season. We're very excited. Nerves are up. Uh, just to be honest, be, be very uh, up forth with the listeners. Last year, we, we lost a child, and, and she was stillborn. It was a very traumatic time for our family. Uh, and I share this with you all just because I know people out there listening, they, they care. And you know, I feel like our, our guests are real with you all, so why shouldn't I be? So we're pumped up. We're excited. We're, we're anxious. But hopefully in August, uh, when we're recording here at the Eco Ask Why Studio, we may have to take some breaks from that from time to time because maybe a, a baby's crying in the background. But don't worry. We'll get that out so you don't have to hear that on, uh, out there if you're uh, listening to us while you're doing your morning run. So other than that, it's going to be a fun summer. We're going to try to get to the beach, toes in the sand. Hope that you can do that as well with you and your family while you're at the beach. While you're strolling, throw that eco ass why in and check us out. Also, please follow us on YouTube. You'll probably notice we started dropping every episode on YouTube. So you can see our heroes in action. A lot of times I'm making references to things that are in the background. Uh, so if you check us out on YouTube, you'll be able to see that. Uh, Instagram, eco ass why. Follow us there. Uh, that hits my phone directly. Love to communicate with people there. So we're, we're doing a great job. Our, our marketing coordinator, Andy, she does phenomenal posts and does a great job of putting that stuff out there. And as well as our executive producer, Adam, just the work behind the scenes cannot say enough about the team that we have here trying to just create the, the content that matters to you. So hit us up on Instagram. Uh, hit us up on LinkedIn or Facebook. We're there every day. And remember, just keep asking why. And if you're enjoying this, please share it with other people. Let them know about it. Let them know what you think. Give us those other ideas you want us to talk about. And thank you so much for taking the time with us on Eco Ask Why. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com.